Hey guys, Red Knight here, and today we're back with another video where today I'm doing another tier list video where, but today I'm doing Cactus Jack albums. So I got all the Cactus Jack artists, uh, Travis, obviously, Don Tolliver, Sofago, and Shaq West. I got all their albums here. I'm just going to rank them based on which ones I think are best, worst, obviously. So yeah, um, this is all just based on my opinion. So if you disagree or agree, comment down below. Anyways, let's get started with Huncho Jack. I actually thought this is kind of underrated. I don't know if I'm gonna put it A. I'm a. It's it's close. It's it's. I'm gonna put it A for now. I might move it down later though. If you didn't know, Travis Scott's my favorite artist, so he's he's gonna have a little bias there. But I I thought it was really good. I like Quavo too. Both did really good on it. This Don Tolliver, I'm not gonna lie, it's 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 lower for me. Out of it's not bad. It's just, I mean, it is bad. There's only like one or two good songs on it. So I'm gonna put it here for now at D. But um it might I move might move it down later. We'll see we'll see how it goes. This this uh Sofa goes really good. I'm gonna put it top of A. Yeah, I'm gonna put it over uh Huncho Jack. It might it's close. I feel like it's one of his best albums. I mean he only has like four or five, but it's one of his best. It's definitely really good. Um only a few skips on it and it has yeah. It it's close to S. Uh, I think I'm only put like a few in S. Uh, Heaven or Hell by Don Tolliver. This is good. It's also, I don't think it's one of his best. I'm going to put it at C. I think his other two are better. Uh, mo more recent ones are better, but it was, it was good. Uh, Angelic 7 by Sofago. Uh, I'm going to put it B. I, I think B, B or C. I could move it down later, but for now I'm going to put it at B. I'm happy with B. The obviously his most famous song is on there, the knock knock. But um, yeah, I think uh, there it was like a short song. It was a short album though, not gonna lie. But um, it was it was good for the most part. Astro World Easy as like no question, like that's obvious. Zero misses at all. Um, I flipped between this and Birds and Trap as my favorite Travis album. Um, I'm not sure which one. It just kind of depends on the day. I, I think I'm gonna still go Birds in the Trap though. For me personally, as my favorite Travis album, but Astro Worlds, obviously, you know, it's Astro Worlds. Should have won album of the year, but we moved, that was a long time ago. No one really cares anymore. Uh, Mud Boy by Shaq West. This is the only Shaq West album on the list, and I, I'm, I'm have to put it at D. There's like two good songs on it. Obviously, Mo Bamba is a classic, classic, but I'm gonna put it at D. I just want him to drop something new. One, we've been we've been waiting, and after he drops, Utopia drops. That's what Travis said, at least. Um, but yeah, I think he... I don't know why he doesn't drop anymore. He just kind of like disappeared. He's like one of those artists, but... Uh, he's been posting on his Instagram recently. Maybe maybe that means something. Usually that, that's like what Cardi does. Maybe he's trying to be like Cardi. But yeah. Uh, D, I'm going to put that album at D. Uh, Rodeo. Um, I'm going to put... I got to put it at S. I'm going to put 5 in S, I think. Top five, top five. I, I always do top five. It's not that many, so a lot are gonna be an S. But that's just. I mean, a lot of these albums are really good, so you know, I'm fine with that. Uh, Rodeo is a classic. I'm gonna put it under Astro World though, because you know, for me personally, I like Astro World more. Uh, but uh, Rodeo has like, oh, there's only like one song I don't like from Rodeo, one or two. Everything else is good. So yeah, uh, War by Sofaco. I'm gonna also put a D. I'm gonna put it. Actually, I'm gonna put this Mud Boy over Don Tolliver. I'm gonna put Mud Boy at the top of D, and I'll move put put War right there. And I'm gonna move Don Tolliver down to F. War is just like it's just it's not, you know, it's just like so old. That's the only reason I don't like. It's like one of Sofago's like earlier ones, so he's not really a fully like fleshed out artist at the time. So um, that's why I'm gonna put him there. I might put him. I put it down at F. I love Sofago, but it's just I don't like that album. Uh, Life of Don. I'm gonna put it. I'm gonna put that top of B. I'm gonna put it under uh, Angelic Seven. Actually, I like Angelic Seven more. D do I? Yeah, I do. I do. I do. I'm gonna put it like that. Uh, it's definitely good. Definitely really good. Um, but I had two Travis songs on it too. Uh, Go Plus. I'm gonna put A. I'm gonna put top of A. Maybe that's a little recency bias, but we'll see how it ages. It could be an S. Uh, it might. I don't. It's close between these two, but I'm gonna put it over it for now. I think it's gonna it's it's gonna go better as I listen to it more. 
Jack Boy doesn't put top of A. That is like actually I'm gonna put it under Hmm. Under over go I'm gonna put it under go plus. Yeah. And I'm gonna put it over after me though. Uh Jack Boy's just I remember that was such a time when it dropped. It was all the like it has such, like literally I think it might be the best Cactus Jack cover art. It's it's so clean, so clean. Um and all the it had a lot of really good songs, I'm not gonna lie. I, I gotta start listening to it more. I, don't, I was just thinking about the songs in my head. I, I wanna I listen back to that again. Uh, Birds and Trap, Top of S. Uh, right now, it's just at Travis Albums, but we, we're gonna add some more. Um, actually, yeah, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna, put, I'm gonna put some more in there. Um, yeah, best Travis album, I think, for me. For me, personally. A lot of people have it as their worst Travis album. I mean... That's 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 fair, I guess. Uh, it just depends on what you like, and um, I like it a lot. <laughs> I really I really like it. Uh, it has so many good songs on, like so many classics on it. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna put it at top of S. Uh, Pink Hearts. I'm also put that at S. People really didn't like Pink Hearts. I I just don't get. It. I don't get the Pink Hearts hate. It's so good. Pink Hearts is so good. But um, yeah, I feel like Pink Hearts. There's only one bad song on it. I forgot what it's called, but. It's just like it wasn't really a song. It's more like an intro type, so you know it doesn't. That doesn't really count. Pink Heart is still a classic, and yeah, uh, Love Sick. I'm gonna put. I got too many in A. I got too many in A. I'm gonna put it B. I'm gonna move Life of Dawn down to C. Okay, that's my final list. Like my top four. I'm gonna. I'm not. I'm, I'm gonna keep it as four and S. Uh, top four: Birds in the Trap, Astroworld, Rodeo, Pink Hearts. Yeah, I like that. I like this list. Um, let me know what you would change and what your favorite Cactus Jack album is. Um, uh, a lot of people have been saying Cactus Jack fell off. I feel like they're on the up this year, though. You know, last year was definitely a rough year, but um, you know, so far this year they had Love Sick, which was a really good album, really, really good Don Toliver album. I think it was his best. Well, I had I had it ranked ranked as his best, but um, it was really good. Um, and then go plus just dropped which is really good too so so far they have two for two let's see what shack west does and if utopia drops it's over <laughs> if utopia drops it's over uh but you know let me know what you guys if you guys like this video and maybe i could do opium in the, in the next because you know opium has a lot of a lot of we, we love opium too so yeah thanks for watching um comment what you would uh what's your favorite cactus jack album yeah subscribe if you're not already thanks for watching see you guys next time goodbye